Yo, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a real quick video. I, as you can see, it's purple behind me. We're doing a cyberpunk themed video, as you probably already guessed from the title. Uh, so, about a week ago, a week ago when I posted this video, it would have been a week, I posted a POV video of me taking some foggy night photos. And I love the photos I've got in that, but it probably gave me a bit of a cyberpunk vibe. And I've watched some gameplay, I haven't actually played the game yet because I have a PS4 and we won't talk about that. But, I wanted to try and re-edit these photos, or a couple of these photos, with a proper cyberpunk vibe. So, let's jump in. Before we jump in, this is going to be my penultimate video for 2020. So, stick around, subscribe if you want to see my next video, because I'm going to be looking back at 2020, and then I've got some big plans for the new year. So make sure you join the community, subscribe down below, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm posting. And yeah, let's jump in. So I've picked three of these photos that we're gonna try and work with, and I'm basically just gonna take you through the process of me turning them into a cyberpunk version. So on screen now, you can see the original shot on the left. Uh, that is my edited version on the right, and we're gonna turn it into a cyberpunk version from that edit. So I haven't got to redo the whole edit, which is gonna pretty much just adjust the coloring. So you get an idea of how you can turn your photos into a, sort of a cyberpunk vibe. So for me, the first colours that come straight to mind when I think of the cyberpunk are like neon this, which is why I want to use these shots. Uh, I think of purple, magentas, more like a tealy blue than a darker blue, and yellow and orange, but more, more towards yellow because of the cyberpunk logo and everything. So let's just jump in and give it a crack. So as you can see here, we've already done a lot of the editing. We're just going to go into the colour page. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to go into the HSL panel. Also, before we continue, elephant in the room. Yes, that is Christmas bedding behind me. No, I don't care. <coughs> so, first thing we do is I'm going to change the hue of a lot of these colours to be more futuristic and cyberpunky. Cyberpunky. So, we're going to take the red hue, slam it all the way down. Boom. Purple. I like it. Orange. I think the orange I'm going to make a little bit more yellow. Bring the yellow out. Uh, I don't think green's gonna do anything here. No, we'll leave it up. Aqua isn't gonna do much. We're gonna leave it in the middle. Ooh. I'm gonna drag blue all the way down to there. There we go. Purple, we're gonna bring a bit more towards magenta. And where are we? Oh no, we're gonna bring it on the blue end. And the magenta, I'm going to bring sort of down there. Bump the saturation up on a few of these. We're going to find you in this in a minute. This is just for the time being. Okay, so immediately you can see the color shift already. It looks a bit crap at the moment, but we're going to change that. So the purple, we are... I don't like what the change in the hue is doing to the colouring there, so I'm going to bring it all the way down and bring out a bit of saturation out of the purple. Magenta, however, we're going to bump the saturation up on. Not too much because I want to overdo it. Bring out the luminance as well. Blue is all of that, so we're going to bring the saturation up. Luminance right up. Same with aqua. Change that colouring a little bit. Green didn't really do much, did it? If I pull it out, it's not doing anything. Yellow. Towards the green a little bit. Saturation. A bit tamer than that. Luminance up. Proper glowy. Luminance up on the orange. That was just really, really bugging me a little bit. Overall temperature of the photo, I'm going to bring a slight. Whoa! Too much, too much, too much. Whoa! Just, let's just change it back. What are we? We're doing 3000. Let's change 2800. 2800. Okay. I'm liking these colours. I'm liking these colours. 
color grading tab. Let's put some purple in the shadows. Whoa, I really, I'm still getting used to this color grading tab instead of split toning. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Highlights, we're gonna go for a bit of teal, I think. Oh, too much. Oh, see, this is really finicky. And the mid tones, a bit of red. Just how they blend. That way. Oh, yeah, I like that more. The balance. Like that. This isn't going to be a preset or anything, this is going to be very photo specific. Uh, we're going to bring up the noise reduction a little bit because I want it to look like mm, I don't know, digital. I want it, don't want any grain or noise in there really. Uh, what's the vignette saying? I'm just going to take off the vignette and then put one on myself using the. What is this called? What is this tool called? The radio fill. <laughs> the radio filter. And make sure if in the outside is selected. And we're just going to bring the exposure down. Put on my own vignette to that. I think we're pretty much done with that photo, you know? I'm actually going to bring up the highlights a little bit more, the whites. Yeah, there we go. Shadows can come up a little bit. Dip blacks a bit more. Boom! There we go. Before and after. Big difference. We've massively around them colours, but that is a proper cyberpunk vibe. Oh, I just love it. I love these light trails for this this sort of shot. It looks so sick. All right, let's go to the next photo. Um, I'm just gonna hit previous. Oh, didn't want to do the crop. Let's get rid of the crop on that. Oh god, now because this is a merge photo. Constraint image, put it down there. All right, now let's play with this one specifically. So the orange, or more yellow. Oh yes, 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 yes. Bump that saturation. Bump that luminance. around the aqua and the magenta <laughs> so look before and after oh that is a big difference in this before and after that is sick I really like that that's well cool this is why I love editing it's just fun it's just fun to play around with and do last shot was this one from the uh, the motorway Let's again we're gonna get rid of that crop after hitting previous. Oh I wasn't expecting that much of a difference. Let's put my own crop onto that. Cool. Putting the lumens right up for red. Same for magenta and purple. Make that pop. Whites up, highlights up. Okay, that's really doing overdoing that side. I'm actually going to bring the highlights down and I'm going to brush tool. Hit O to get your overlay. And I'm just going to brush well with this side of the image. Like that. And then we're doing the highlights up. Get rid of the hit O again to get rid of the overlay. Computer's lagging. Highlights. Yes. Pow. I need exposure up at that time as well. Oh, 
Now that is cyberpunk. I just really like these. There's nothing much to these images of the motorway. I just quite abstract. I just think they're really cool. Boom. There you go. Cyberpunk edit vibe. Let's have a look through them. So, first image. Yeah. I think it just looks really cool. I just love this re editing in an abstract way. Because this isn't my style normally. Normally, I'd, I like to edit my photos how it was when I was there. Because for me, photos are a memory and all that. I've explained it before. But. I like to edit the photo to look how it was when it was there, maybe just a bit more enhanced, just to look better. But trying out this sort of editing is just really cool. And I've just done this off the bat. Like I don't, I haven't watched any tutorials or anything like that. I've just created this from what I think Cyberpunk vibe edit would look like. And this is what I've come up with. So yeah, just changing the hue around, getting them purples and blues and yellows. And it just looks freaking cool, in my opinion. But yeah, that's it for this video. Just a quick little fun little edit. Give it a go. If you do try this out, tag me on Instagram at Luke Palms. Show me what you come up with because I think it's a proper cool vibe to go for. And hopefully they fix Cyberpunk so that I can buy it because I really want to play that game. But there's some problems. <laughs> But yeah, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you aren't already. All the other stuff that YouTube today to do. And I will see you next time. Have a great Christmas. Peace. Better let the boys know I'm not coming on cord yet. Uh, I'll be a bit longer filming a video. Hashtag YouTube fame. <laughs> I'm going to get bullied for that.